I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to a special event. It is the Gulf Nations Cup. We're going to be playing the Gulf Nations Cup as the United Arab Emirates, mainly so I can play with one of my favorite players in the world, Omar Abdulrahman. Uh, and this is a special event because it is a uh, it's a custom uh, custom data pack, I guess you'd call it. Uh, with well, the custom pack that I'm using is for the Cup of Nations, the Gulf Cup of Nations. There's a few of these that uh, Dodgy Gamer has done. I'm going to put a link in the description. Um, I'll put a link there to both his uh, his channel so you can see his video and all the different ones that he's done, all these international tournaments. I'll also put a link to the Steam uh, Workshop thing so you can uh, download them if you want. They're, they're really, really good. Definitely worth uh, checking out, I would say, um, particularly if you are internationally managing one of the, the countries, from or one of the smaller countries, I guess, from a non-UEFA. Uh, I've got an eyelash or something here. I'm just going to edit out my eyelash. Okay, there we go. I'm not getting poked in the eyeball anymore. Um, so we're going to hopefully today have the group stage, and then hopefully tomorrow have the knockout rounds. But we'll see how far we get here. You can see we've been drawn in a group with Iraq, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia. Now we're playing Iraq first up. I would imagine Saudi Arabia is going to be the, the best team in the group. I would imagine that Kuwait is probably the weakest team in the group. And it's going to be the 12 hours between ourselves and Iraq to see who it is that goes through the group with Saudi Arabia. That's just what I think will happen. Um, now, if we have a quick look, I've only just taken over the job, been flown in directly for this tournament. Uh, I took over. We had one friendly, <laughs> a very solid 3-0 defeat against Qatar. I don't think it was quite as bad as that, but that's what we've had. I just friendlied over the World Cup qualifier because I didn't particularly care about that. But the boys did get a win there. So we've got Iraq first, then the Saudis, and then Kuwait. Now let's go and have a look at uh, at the team that we are, we are sending out here. Well, let's have a look at the squad first of all, perhaps. Let's go by position here. We have obviously three goalkeepers. It's a standard 23-man squad. So we've got uh, Isa as uh, our first-choice goalkeeper. The backups to him are Al Mansour, is that? And, or Al Mansouri, and also uh, Hosani, Al Hosani. Now we're in 2023, so some of these players... Um, maybe, uh, maybe there may be some new gens. They're all going to be a little bit older than they are in real life. In terms of defenders, we've got Al Kalami there. We've also got Eid Ka I'm going to butcher these names. I know Kamis. We have got uh, Saif Abdul Zarak. We have uh, Abdullah Ahmed. We'll go with that. Abdullah Ahmed. We've got uh, Obad Al Yahami. These names, you're all laughing at me, aren't you? Khalifa Al Halami. We've got uh, Ibrahim Al Hamdadi, Hamdadi. We've got uh, Muhammad Abdul. I can say that. Well, let's, he needs to play more. We've got Salim Rashid as well. Uh, we also have Mansour Al Harbi. We also have in midfield here Ismail Al Zabi. Uh, we've got Fabio Lima. I'm assuming he's naturalized. <laughs> uh, he's going to be. He's a good player for us. We've got Amir Abdul Rahman. Uh, we've got the God Amongst Men of the team, Omar Abdul Rahman. Oh, I love this man. He is such a good player. We have uh, Ali Salah as uh, one of the wingers. We have uh, Yahi Al Gahazani. We have, uh, gee, I really should have thought about this harder. Watch tournament I did, shouldn't I? Harib Abdullah. We have, uh, as a winger, we have Ali Mab uh, Mahout, who is uh, actually a really good striker in real life. Very, very good. Um, we have Khalid Abdul Rahim Bazawazir. Baza, Baza, and finally, because this cannot go on long enough, Khalid Al Blushui. I've called him in as a striking option. Hasn't been capped. I'm not sure if he's an actual player or if he's a, re a 24. He's probably a real player. But anyway, if he comes on and plays just any point, it will be a debut that we'll be handing out for him. So that being said, we are full of confidence and going in with a 4 2 3 1 formation. Um, this just seems to suit the squad, uh, you know, that we have. So we've just seen all the players. There's no point drawing this out anymore. Um, let's get on with this tournament and uh, start it against Iraq. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. Ali Adnan, I love that man as well. Humam Tariq, big fan of him. I almost played as Iraq, actually, but uh, we went with Abdul Rahman because... He's just brilliant. Uh, all right, the dressing room. What do we want to say? We're the underdog. We are with the underdogs. Okay, I would have thought UAE would have been favoured to beat Iraq, but I could be wrong. Um, so let's pump our fists. We'll say that. Uh, we'll point our fingers. I'm not quite sure how good my Arabic is or how good their English is. So that's probably why they're just looking at me strangely. And here we go. It's uh, it's always nice to have the biggest game potentially up first, isn't it? So. Here we go. Dawu, or Dawood, I should say. I think Dawu probably plays in South Korea, doesn't he? 
Um, yeah, like I say, I'm, I've linked everything in the description. There's this, there's a couple of other um, Asian tournaments. There's a lot of uh, African tournaments. And there's a, there's one I've never heard of. In the, of uh, well, that's not the start we wanted. I mean, I'm glad Tariq scored because he is a favorite of mine. I think we signed him at Aston Villa at some point. Um, but I'd rather we didn't concede after 30 odd seconds, if I'm completely honest. Yeah, it's not great. It's a, it's a cracking ball. It's a really good goal, actually. It doesn't say too much for our defense, but it is a good goal. Um, but yeah, so everything is linked down in the description. It's definitely worth having a look at, I would say. Um, oh, yeah, I'm a little bit uh, annoyed that we've conceded so soon there. Hopefully, we'll pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and... Um, well, I don't know, to be honest. Looking at that, they've got the two defensive midfielders in there. I wonder if we look to play a little bit wide, maybe exploit those flanks. Um, yeah, we'll try that and unpause the game. Maybe there won't be a knockout stage for us. Here we go. Can we get something going? We are in the red, aren't we? Yeah, Lima, there it is there for Babuzir. Can he get a cross in? Mavkut should be in there. It's blocked away. Abdul Razak to Lima. There's a decent ball to the back post. And oh, we've just looked at it. It's bounced in somehow though. Ali Salah, it was a good ball in. He stood there and looked at it. But the clearance, I think, has gone in off Bajat. We'll take an own goal. We're not that picky. What has happened here though? Decent ball in. It was Lima that, uh, that got it in there. Look, oh, you've got to pay attention. He has. He's cleared it straight into his own man. And, well, it's a, it's a coach-killing goal from the uh, Iraqi point of view, but we'll take it. That gets us back to 1-1, and it's game back on again. And if I could get uh, my wingers look, look paying attention when the crosses are coming into the box, that would be okay as well. Um, oh, we get, it is going to be 1-1 one at half-time. Uh, half we have managed to score without getting a shot on target. That's always nice. Um, we've been completely outplayed. Let's maybe tell them that. That's There we go. See, I'm unhappy. It works in every language. And um, do we want to change anything? We'll get back out there. I mean, apart from the first 30 seconds, we've looked okay defensively. They haven't done too much. Um, I mean, we've done absolutely nothing when we've had the ball. We've got a corner to defend. Now, we are the world's smallest team. We have absolutely no height back there at all. And, well, that showed, didn't it? Uh, when I was trying to set up the set pieces... I think there was maybe two members of the squad, and that includes centre-backs that had a jumping reach of over 10. And the man at the post was <laughs> uh, literally just stood there. Let's demand a bit more. Come on, boys. Now we've got another corner to defend. Is our secret out? Kept oh, Jesus. Ali Adnan. Well, I'm glad my two favourite Iraqi players have got goals. That uh, pleases me. But... Um, this might be a one episode thing. We're going to need a big result against um, against the Saudis, aren't we? Only top two go through. Oh, and that's gone just over the bar. We probably need to go attacking. Uh, we need to try and get Abdul Rahman in the game. Is what we need to do, isn't it? He's standing. There he is there. Can we get him in the game? He is. He's the best player in Asia by a mile. And I don't think we've seen him on the ball once yet. Do we look to move him out wider, I wonder? We've got wingers in space, which is promising. Can Al Salah get across him? We know that he can't get on the end of a cross. Can he deliver one, though? He's done okay there. Second ball in. Abdul Rahman. It's Makut. And Abbe Ali Makut has got, that, uh, got us back in this game. It is 2-3 now. We will demand a little bit more again. Ali Salah did okay, didn't he? I'm not quite sure what Amin's clearance was doing. Cleared it straight back into him. Abdul Rahman will call it a flick on. <laughs> not quite sure exactly what he was trying to do there. But we've got ourselves back in this game. Abdul Rahman's looking anxious. Do we change his role? What was he? Pl was he playing as a truck tricortista? Let's move him to an advanced playmaker. Let's try and get the game going through him. Officially. He's looking anxious, which isn't ideal. He's looking more motivated now. Can we defend? 
Evidence so far has suggested not. There we go. We've done well there. Ball forward. No, it's poor. And can we get it going now? Can we win that? No. We're just not quite at it, are we? Salah, go and mark your man, you dumbass. Ball away, please. Oh, oh it's gone in again. Humam, he's, he's five foot nothing, Humam. How has he won a header at the back post? Balwazir's having a nightmare. Let's get him off. Um, it's a good header, don't get me wrong. But our right back needs to hang his head in shame. If you saw Humam in real life, he is he's not a tall man. Um... Okay, so I'm going to say we've absolutely nothing to lose now. Let's go up. Let's push up a high line. Let's get stuck in. Let's go counter-press them. And, uh, well, I don't know. We'll try it. Let's maybe just get rid of all this. The problem, I think, partly with coming in so late in the in the day is uh, we, we there's there's been no time to, to get them used to playing the way that we want to play. Um, and it's shown, to be honest, can we get ourselves a goal difference rescuing late goal? It's Oh, it's Makut and it's off the crossbar. So unlucky. It wouldn't have made much difference to the game, but 4-3 looks like a cracking game that we've lost. 4-2 looks like we can't defend. Come on, boys. Is there another goal in this for us? We've got about 10 seconds left. Lima. Lima's actually looked quite good back there, hasn't he? Here we go with Harib. This is the substitute. Can he get across? And he can. It's cleared away, though. I think maybe he starts the next game. So, well, that is massively disappointing. Um, I mean, two goals from corners killed it, didn't it? Two goals in four minutes there. And, well, we started the game a bit late, too, didn't we? Um, we can't be happy with that, boys. So we can see there Saudi Arabia did manage to beat Kuwait. Uh, so that means we're going to play Saudi Arabia now and we have to take something from the game or else we're done. Okay, welcome back. We are getting ready to play Saudi Arabia. The host of the tournament is Iraq. So maybe, you know, playing away from home, essentially, even though it said it was a neutral venue, you know, that was, it turns out it's an even tougher group than I initially thought. This is what we're doing coming into the second game. We've made one or two changes. You'll notice a change in the formation. Maybe we need to just be a little bit more sensible in the way we go about things. Uh, so it's still the same, uh, the same defense. The change that we've made is Harib Abdullah has come on to start down the right. He's going to play as an inside, or sorry, an inverted winger, given that he's left-footed. Uh, and we've just dropped Al Harabi back a little bit into a more defensive role. And then uh, Abdul Rahman has dropped in as well. He'll still be an advanced playmaker. Um, Lima will still be a Mazella. And hopefully, you know, we'll still uh, well, we'll still have a threat going forward. Just maybe be a little bit more solid defensively. All right. So we can see the lineups here. I'm not as familiar with the Saudi Arabian team as I am with Iraq. Mostly because Australia seems to play Iraq every time there's a tournament for qualifying for a tournament. We could uh, move in the qualifications... <laughs> Yeah, let's go with that. You could move into the qualification spots or you could completely get knocked out of the tournament. So it's up to you, boys. Which one would you like that to be? The goalkeeper likes me. I wonder if he can speak English a little bit. Nobody else can. Um, but here we go. It is it is tournament on the line already. And maybe we're showing here that I'm not cut out for international management. Now, are we going to concede a goal quicker than the first game? Surely not. Saudi Arabia have the ball. We need to just make sure we kick off, I think. That's the problem, isn't it? Come on, don't. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Please don't do it again. Please don't do it again. We've lasted longer, I think, have we? Oh, we've got a good block in there. Al Harabi smashes it forward. And does that end the highlight? Yes, it does. Progress from the first game. Excellent to see. Now we've got a free kick to defend. Our weakness. And um, can we get to that? Not quite. I did think of the idea, you know, ch you know, changing the team around a little bit more in the defensive side of things, but I just figured we'll try and get them playing together. Um, I picked them initially because I thought they were the best team, so Abdul Rahman, uh, it's a little bit lungy, but he got away with it. We're very much second best here, aren't we? Another ball into the area. And, oh, I'll tell you what, that's off the goal line. I think that was off the goal line by a Saudi player. I don't even think it was one of our defenders. Let's encourage them. Come on, boys. Have we touched the football? We just may have. All right, Abdul Rahman, is he over, he's over a free kick? Come on, Omar. 
This is Omar territory. Can he bend it in for us? Omar! Oh, it's a good save from the goalkeeper. And we'll have a throw. I wonder if we get the Abdul Rahman brothers. Let them loose in midfield. See what happens. Um, well, after a bit of a dodgy start, we have come back into this. We haven't conceded a goal as of yet, and I do stress yet. But there is still a chance here. Ball forward there for Abdul Razik to Al Harabi. He gets it forward. All right, Lima has it. Back to Abdul Razik. Come on, boys. Come on. Al Harabi, Abdul Razik. We're going backwards. That's fine. We still have possession. Ball forward. There it is. We give it away. And can we win that back? Not quite yet. We don't look the best defensively, do we? We are sort of uh, just on be more disciplined, and that's a penalty. Was it? It was Lima. All right, come on, Isa. You can make a save, mate. Come on. I believe in you. Oh, he's gone the right way as well. But we are 1-0 down in a game that, well, we 100% cannot afford to lose. We could maybe draw, hope that Iraq does us a favor in the last game if we can beat Kuwait. But uh, we cannot afford to lose this. Let's encourage them. Abdul Rahman's a very anxious uh, young man, isn't he? There's a good tackle. No, not quite. Um, do we need to go and put a bit more pressure on them, I wonder? Isa has it. That ends that highlight. We've got one of our own. Salah to Abdul Rahman. He has a shot. It's blocked away. And we go again. Come on, boys. Building from the back. I like it. Lima. You owe us for the penalty, mate. There's a good ball. Can we get it brown? We can. Can he point across into the box? Go, Harib. Oh, he goes back out to Abdul Razik. Razik crossing. It's Abdul Rahman. It's headed away. Come on, boys. We still have the ball. The highlight continues. Al Hamadi. It's there for Lima. Back to Al Hamadi. We don't look too bad when we have the ball like this, do we? It's just a shame that uh, we don't get it very often. Abdul Razik. Back there to Lama. Lima, even. Al Harabi. There's a nice little ball for Makut. It's all! Oh! Thought that was going in the top corner. But it is. Uh, well, it's not. Um, all right, let's do we try a calm down maybe five minutes before the break if we can get in at 1-0 We can have a talk we can tweak things around a little bit and maybe there's a way for us back into this game That's a missed header and the goalkeeper has bailed us out there Now our team of midgets needs to defend the corner and well, we've seen already. This is not a good place for us to be Can we get away? We can Al Harib can he go and get it? No We're chasing it around Oh, when they have the ball like this, they do look quite good, don't they? Lima. Lima wins it back. Oh, Makut cannot get onto it. <clears throat> um, well, that's not the worst. That's not the... I mean, XG, obviously, there's a penalty there that makes it look a little bit better than it maybe is. I can get on board with Unlucky. Um, we'll pump our fifth, say there's more to come. And uh, I'll just have a quick look at the tactics, see if we can improve anything. Okay, we are going to make one sub and a few and another change. We're going to bring Bawazar on to play as an inverted winger on the left-hand side. Al Ali Salah hasn't really impressed me too much, so he'll come off and we'll use Makut as a deep-lying forward. Um, just try and drop back in with the inverted wingers and see if he can link up with them. Uh, so that's the plan. Everybody's looking inspired. We've got a corner. Abdul Rahman, decent ball in back post, held it away. Harib should pick that up. And let's see what he can do now. It goes back in there for Lima. For Al Harib. Come on, boys. Is there anything for us? They just look like they're well organized, don't they? There's a ball for Abdul Rahman. We've told him to get a little bit further forward this half as well. Balo Zaya is in. Can he get a cross back across goal? Oh, he's... A penalty, ref. Penalty. No, and is it going to come back out the other way now? We should get that. We do. Al Harabi has it. It's forward. Nice ball for Harib. He's got an overlapping run. He doesn't use him. He goes himself. Can he smash one in? Al Harib. Oh, he can. Abdullah Harib. Or uh, Harib Abdullah. Anyway, whoever it is, he scored a goal. It's 1 1. And this is a much better start to the second half. Let's give them some praise and enjoy Harib's uh, work here. Got past his man through the legs. 
kept going and then just tucked it in at the near post. Goalkeeper will be disappointed, but that's not our problem. And early in the second half, we've got it back to 1-1. And can we go on with this now? Um... I mean, Saudi Arabia, they should be a very good team, I would imagine. So we're doing quite well, I would I would think, to be tied at one with them. Um, Lima, I just saw there, was looking a little bit nervous. He's also on a booking and not playing particularly well. Harib has intercepted that. He's got Makut with him. Can he find? No. Can he go himself? He's left-footed. He's on the wrong foot. Oh, he's done past his man again. He pulls it back. Edge of the area! Oh! So, so close. All right, let's get the Abdullah brothers in, in midfield going together. Abdul Rahman brothers, I should say. Amir comes on to join brother Omar. I think they are actually brothers, and if I'm not mistaken. He's got a foot in there. Now, of course, we can't. if we can't afford to lose, if we lose, we're done. Unless Kuwait beats Iraq, which could happen, I suppose. Ball in. Oh. Let's encourage them again. Abdul Rahman is looking tired, but he's it's oh he's injured. It's Makut. That's not ideal. We have to bring on the debutante now. Can he play as a deep lying forward? Not really. So we'll put him as an advanced forward and hope that uh, he can get on the end of something. We're coming in to stoppage time. Can we get a late late goal? No, but I tell you what, one one against Saudi Arabia. That's not bad. Now of course, if uh, Makut is injured and out of the tournament. That could be a problem for us, but uh, that's not a bad result at all. So, all right, we can see here Iraq did beat Kuwait. So that means coming into this final game, we need to beat Kuwait. We need Iraq to beat Saudi Arabia. And then it all comes down to goal difference. So, uh, well, we've got one game to go. Can we get into the groups, uh, out of the group stage, I should say. All right, and here we go. The final game of the group stage. We have to beat Kuwait and then hope Iraq can do us a favor against Saudi Arabia. Uh, now, we are without uh, Ali Makut. He has, well, he's gone for the tournament nine days to three weeks. So that's a massive blow for us. He is, uh, well, he's our best striker, that's for sure. So we've kept, again, we've kept faith with the team, more or less. Uh, we are going to go with a deep lying forward in Bawazir. He's going to start the game up there for us. Coming in on the left-hand side is Al Ghassani. Um, he can play with either foot, so we're going to have two inverted wingers and uh, Bazir as a deep lying forward. Basically, how we started the second half against the Saudis. So let's hope that this works for us, and let's uh, let's get out there. All right, so we can see the team lineups here. I don't do I recognise any of the Q80 players? I don't think so. Oh, Hassan Abdullah, I think I recognise that name. Um, again, I only recognise most of these names from when they play against the Socceroos, to be honest. So uh, I'm far from an expert on uh, Middle Eastern football, though I do enjoy watching. I've got to say. Go out there and impress me. Let's do it, boys. Oh, Fabio Lima's decided he likes me. Excellent stuff. Every, anybody else? No, nobody else cares. All right, for hopefully not the last time, but potentially for one more time. It would be nice to at least finish on a win. Um, obviously, we can't help with what uh, happens in the other game. All we can do is make sure we win, hopefully win well. And uh, if, it is, if, you know, if it does come down to it that goal difference is in our favor, that's not what hurts us. It's going to come down to that third goal we wanted, isn't it, against Iraq? There's a header. It's off the crossbar. It's still there, and it's put away by Al Ghassani into the team, and 11 minutes in, and he has scored his first ever goal for his country. Excellent stuff from him. It's 1-0, and maybe that makes Saudi Arabia a little bit nervous. Good ball in. Flicked on, off the crossbar. Al Ghassani following in. 1-0. Perfect. And... Um, well, we know we probably need at least one more. Probably two. Iraq has taken the lead. We've got a corner to defend. It is headed away. Arabi's there. Can we go up the other end? Can we get him on the break? Lima's with him. What can Lima do? We've got players getting into the box. Lima's shot is blocked. Al Ghassari is there. Can he get a cross in? We've got players queuing up. And we're 2-0 up. It is going to count for a second that I thought maybe offside. We are 2-0 up. If the Iraq score holds, we need one more goal. And that will be us. That will be us out of the group stage. It's 2-0 after 17 minutes. It's going to be a massive shame if we do go out. Because I think the longer, the more games we've played, we have just sort of figured out the best way, you know, how to get the best out of our team. Here we go. Al-Ghassani. 
Can he get across? And he goes back to Al Yamahani. It's in there for Gasari. Oh, it is a third goal. We're 3-0 up after 20 minutes. And that should that should be us ahead. Now, we just need Iraq to make sure that they don't go and uh, throw away their lead. If Iraq win, if we can keep this scoreline, that will be us through. At a minimum, it'll be through on goals scored. Because obviously we lost 4-2 to Iraq. Come on, boys. Let's keep praising them. It is still just the one goal, though. Can we go and get a fourth? Oh, it's 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one doesn't help us, does it? No. Because we lost to Iraq. They have Iraq has to win. The game has settled down a little bit at our end. And that will do it for the first half. Um... All right, what do we say? We're very pleased. We are very pleased. Keep it going, boys. I don't think there's much else we need to say. Let's get back out there. Let's praise them again. And let's see if we can go and get a goal early on in the half here. And I mean, all eyes are on the Iraq game, aren't they? Come on, Iraq. We need a goal from you. We need a goal. There's not much happening here. Which is disappointing, obviously. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's demand more. Come on. Fabio Lima is looking complacent. We're not going to stand for that. So you can go off. We'll get the other Omar on. Um, otherwise, we just keep going. And, well, I haven't seen another goal come in yet. And we need we need that Iraqi goal. Header away there. Harib has it. Goes back. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's, get, let's just get another goal. At least we're going to go out on a high if we are indeed to go out. Omar, uh, Amir has it, sorry. Forward to Omar. What can he do? Omar, oh, he's tried to bend one. Just didn't quite have his shooting boots on. Let's give them some praise. And let's start praying <laughs> that Iraq can get that goal. It doesn't look like they can. And unless there's a goal we haven't seen, we've beaten Kuwait 3-0. A wonderful first half from us. And we're going to go out. So there it is. Iraq and Saudi Arabia have drawn 1-1. And they've conspired for their perfect result. Iraq wins the group. Saudi Arabia comes second. And we pay the price for a slow start to the tournament against Iraq. That is, needless to say, very, very disappointing. So it is going to be just the one episode and out. Um, if you have enjoyed this, hit thumbs up, subscribe if you Let me know if this is something you'd like to see a little bit more of. But before we end the episode, we'll just skip ahead and see who it is that comes away with the Golf Cup. So there we go, after a cracking final and extra time, it was 4-3 that Kuwait uh, beat the Saudis in the final. It does make you wonder what could have been. Looks like Saudi were down to 10 men as well, were they? Um, so yeah, it's we've maybe paid the price for being a little bit too open in that first game. Qatar beat Iraq, Saudi Arabia beat Bahrain, uh, and then it's, as you saw, Kuwait won the final. Um... Yeah, so that's uh, that's that. Guys, as I said, if you've enjoyed that, hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you did enjoy that. Uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Link in the description to the Discord. Uh, we can all go and discuss what we did wrong there and how much of an idiot I am for being so attacking in that first game. But until next time, guys, I've been Aussie Bill, and thank you so much for watching. Take care. And don't forget, go check the links as well for Dodgy Gamer.